Hey everyone, this is MC Barber. I have a tutorial here on the Mohawk. This is a Mohawk from zero to Mohawk all the way on the back and then uh, color. So here I'm starting my fade as usually with uh, one and a half. I'm removing the bulk and creating the foundation for my fade. Uh, we're going to keep the back pretty wide and we're going to blend the back to the sides just the way we blend the top. So this is my first step. I'm removing the bulk. Pay attention here. Yeah, I'm almost blending the top with my one and a half. Uh, some free handing there. See how my clippers are slightly angled. So I can remove the bulk and kind of fade in the same time with that one and a half. Uh, I do a lot of free handing, definitely it saves on time. Uh, you don't have to use a lot of uh, guards, but definitely saves on time. So this type of haircut that if you use different guards can take actually quite a long time. Uh, this way you can do this haircut anywhere between 15 and 20 minutes. So once I did my first step, now I'm starting my fade with my straight edge ray. Uh, I mean, excuse me, I'm starting my fade with my edges. And I shape it up first. Since I'm going to be doing kind of like a shadow on the side, so I can leave uh, almost like a design here, as you can see. I call this a shadow fade. Or well, some places call them burst fade, some places call them shadow fade, depends where you are. But uh, I call them shadow fade. I leave slightly uh, heavier on the front so I can uh, actually create a nicer shape up line at the end. This gentleman has very nice hair for fading. I used him in Connecticut Barber Expo uh, a couple of years ago for fading. And we won second place, I believe, with a fade. That was in 2014 uh, in the best fade. So he has actually pretty nice hair for fading. This is a little bit tricky, this part here, as you have to kind of uh, fade sideways. Uh, you are not going against the grain of the hair, that's the difficult part. It's a lot easier to fade against, uh, going against the grain of the hair, against the growth, the way the hair grows. Uh, so this is kind of slightly difficult, but uh, uh, usually I do most of it with the uh, clippers and then I will switch to scissor over comb that way you can more cut it more uh, yeah, it will be basically easier to cut it with scissor over comb because you can lift the hair with a comb easier than with the clippers here as you see on the, on the other side I open my blade here and I start my fade. One and a half, slightly going through. I see I'm not pulling my clippers back. First I kind of go through and slightly lift the, the clipper, almost like a flick of the wrist. That way you can, uh, you know, fade easier
I've been doing barbering for about 15 years. I really enjoy uh, barbering. This is a career. I travel, uh, I teach classes, I do seminars in my barbershop. You know, I go to my friends' barbershops, and it really saddens me sometimes to see that people don't take this career very serious, that you know, this is more of a hobby. Uh, this is a career I really treat it as, uh, for example, dentist treats his own career, you know. Uh, I'm always 15 minutes before my first client at work. Uh, I wait for my clients, they don't wait for me. And I take it very serious. Uh, and I have great passion for it. And you know, when you treat your career like that, clients recognize that, you know, and they really appreciate it. It's sad that today in our uh, barbershops, we don't, ca we don't get paid what we deserve to be paid for haircuts. They say the haircuts in barbershops are cheaper today than in the 80s. Uh, so you get what you, what you deserve, basically. The fact that we don't take it very serious uh, is we actually pay for that. So I decided to take it extremely serious. For me, this is some of my clients refer to me as a doctor. Uh, and that's because I want them to do so. I want to act as a professional. I, I respect my career very much. I think this is a great, great industry. You can make a lot of money and you can be your own boss. You can make your own hours. So here I am uh, after shape up. I am uh, using scissors to, to connect the top. Uh, I'm cutting from the crown forward. Um, it is important that your uh, fingertips are pointing down. Uh, this is going to be a mohawk, so they are slightly angled. Uh, the hair is slightly longer towards the center. So here I uh, use my other hand. Again, I make sure my fingers are pointing down. If you are only using... Uh, one, if you are only righty or lefty and you are cutting only with one hand, what you should do is when you move to the other side, you should go in front of the client so your fingers are still pointing down. And now to connect the sides with the top, you just do some scissor over comb. A uh, scissor over comb is one of the most common scissor techniques in the barbering, barbering and hairstyling industry, but it is amazingly difficult to uh, master. I mean, uh, I do about 10 different scissor techniques, but I tell you, this is one of the most difficult scissors, I mean, difficult techniques to master. Uh, you gotta be really a lot of hard work to master this technique. You should have your stationary blade constantly parallel to the spine of the comb and you should have only your um, moving blade move. It shouldn't move an inch and a half as you can see. And uh, you should only move your thumb. I started using my left hand about five years ago. I'm actually not ambidextrous. I learned how to use my left hand uh, because my hands, I was doing so many haircuts, my hands were starting to bother me. Uh, so I learned how to use my left hand, but really now I don't think I would be able to work without using my left hand with scissors. Especially when you are cutting around the ears area, uh, you know, if you are using only uh, one side, it's kind of difficult, you know.
for example, in this area now that I'm cutting scissor over coin, it would be difficult to use my left hand. So this would be easier on this side to use my right hand and the other way around the other side. So I think everybody should learn how to use their left hand and right hand, both hands. It really makes so much difference, so much difference when you do scissor over comb. And here is your uh, almost finished look here, uh, blow drying the hair. We're going to actually do a color after this, but I want to blow dry and style as you see how it looks. So as you can see, you have almost like that burst fade or shadow fade and, you know, with a line, a really uh, nice haircut. I like the uh, four uh, mohawks, they are really nice. So here we are using dual lightener with a 30 volume. He actually has pretty dark hair, so you gotta, we're going to lift it up pretty high uh, to probably level 9 or maybe 10. Uh, we're going to apply the lightener and just, we're going to watch approximately it's going to probably take about half an hour to lift it to where we want and then we're going to use uh, a toner so we remove that uh, warm color uh, we're going to use uh, nine ash as you can see there you go that's your finished look my client is very happy uh, thanks for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, MC Barber is my website, mcbarber.com. Uh, MC Barber is my web, uh, Facebook. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.